the natural stuff coming here. Yeah, someone was just mentioning to me on social media. They were like, it rained for all of 15 minutes, just enough to mess up my plans to mow the lawn. You're absolutely right. That's the type of weather pattern we're in. It's almost kind of like the island life, and I refer to that as the Caribbean, you know, where you get those on and off downpours at almost any time. That's basically what we're dealing with around here, and that's not going to change for about another two days. I do see a light at the end of the tunnel, but we've still got a couple of days worth of wet weather left in us before things begin to change. All right, outside right now, this is basically what I'm talking about. Notice the only downpour I was tracking 15 minutes ago was this one moving out of Franklin County up towards Connorsville and Liberty. But look what's happened in the past five minutes. New downpours starting to go up across parts of Butler County, and I suspect it looks like a couple of more trying to go up down through parts of Dearborn, Ohio, and Switzerland County. So right now, this big downpour moving over the Connorsville area. Not terribly worried about severe weather this evening. I won't rule out that maybe a more intense storm could produce a pocket of gusty winds, but it's primarily heavy rain and a little bit of lightning. Now, the greatest concentration of showers and storms is well out to our west, but like little spokes of energy rotating through the Ohio Valley. You get add a little daytime heating, a couple of hours of sunshine like we've had over us right now. It's been dry for a few hours for a good number of us, and that's all it takes to help ignite new downpours, especially when you look at what's happening down here in the direction of Louisville tonight. Another little piece of energy likely to rotate up and probably help to spark more showers and downpours. It's a cycle. You can see we had one come through around lunchtime. We've had a a few hours to dry out. Here comes the next one preparing to uh, kind of basically rotate its way through as all of this is spinning around a big storm center in Illinois. It's been parked here since the weekend and basically you've got a wide open Gulf of Mexico. That's why it's so humid out there. A little daytime heating, a little energy rotating through enough to spark downpours off and on. So a medium chance that you'll see more rain this evening. Pretty good, likely tomorrow. Most of us pick up at least some rain. Sometimes just the nature of these downpours. Some folks pick up more than others. Others sometimes don't see anything. That's just the kind of way it plays out here. However, notice Wednesday and the Thursday. I think we're going to start to break the cycle. Rain chances will go down some. Here's a look at Futurecast. Notice, look what it's doing, bringing another wave of downpours through this evening. Again, maybe a little thunder and lightning with any of those. After midnight, they'll tend to fade away as things get quiet again, but I can't rule out a downpour at any time, honestly, between now and really Wednesday. Here's a look at tomorrow afternoon, lunchtime. Scattered downpours go up into the afternoon. They'll tend to fade away as the sun begins to go down again. And that basically is the cycle again through Wednesday for us. So outside right now, we've got some muggy sunshine, and that's helping to fuel the next round of downpours, 83 officially at the airport. Temperatures around the area are in the low to mid 80s for most of us since we've had about two or three hours of dry weather as warm as 86 in Hyde Park, 85 currently in Delhi. So we'll be around 80 through the evening, then slip into the 70s, briefly get down to 69 tonight with scattered downpours, a humid night. Then tomorrow, a few morning downpours and then scattered storms in the afternoon. It's the same cycle. We'll top out right around 80 degrees Again, again, the coverage of rain will tend to be greatest during the afternoon and evenings. Your seven day forecast shaping up like this here, a little bit drier Wednesday into Thursday, but then it looks like we've got a big rainmaker maybe again for the upcoming weekend, Friday into Saturday. But then finally, it looks like we get into a stretch of consistently dry weather, maybe be able to string along a whole week of dry weather after this weekend. Good, because this rain's getting annoying, isn't it? It's really annoying. <laughs> there, I said it, Kevin.